been a whole year of, of TCG videos now, and now I wanted to do something a bit special to commemorate it and therefore I decided that we could play with the starter deck and you see how many victories we can get in the arena so we do just that so that's that's the challenge for today I don't think we'll get 5 wins because you know it's I got to change my deck okay so today we're gonna be playing with the starter deck the starter deck is god awful though so I don't expect a lot We might Let's be able finish to this swiftly. Pull a little something here. With the stars at least. We basically have to play aggro more or less as much as possible. Bro. Bro, really? Really? God damn it. I I wanted to use the mint rolls. Not now. Really annoying. What the hell did he just do? Oh crap, charge up crap, right? Okay. Never mind. Alright. I want to help. We're just gonna do a little bit of uh, aggro. Well, so far our card luck has not been terribly disappointing. You know, we're getting we're getting reasonable cards. Well, let's see what he does. Is he gonna do another element skill? Rana. Normal attack. Okay, then my go-to move will be to switch to Kaya. Ready when you are. And try to get that. Stars, shine for me. It's gonna allow me to do that double swirl. Ooh, buddy. Dodge this. It's like the only thing that I can do. Yep. All right, lovely. I can do it. Lovely, my guy. My guy is helping me out. Always nice when they do that. Stand clear. Just this will be interesting. Prevent that cryo application. Hmm, I could go with the look, Kelks's art. That's a play I could make. Don't get too close. Uh, uh, this doesn't look. Or that's a play good. I could have made if he didn't kill me. Hmm. I mean, I could still do it. Sucrose so worth it here. I mean, I need to do some applications. Okay, we killing, we killing Foma, we killing Foma. Okay. What is bro doing? What is bro doing? gonna burst? Are you really gonna burst? I really want to have a fast switch but I don't have a fast switch. I need to... okay he's gonna burst, that's that's fine. I need to take down his shields. I want to help. Shields will be a problem. Animal test 6308! Well, are you gonna attack with Layla? Or Layla is gonna die if you do that. 
He is. Okay. Right then. Kill Layla. And his crab no longer has shields. This is just a, a dream. But I don't think I can make a comeback here. This, these cars, this is nothing. This is like literally nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't have healing. I can't do anything. My research has failed. It's just gonna, yeah. I mean, I mean, GG. At this point, GG. <laughs> ah, two health short. Unfortunate, but you know. It do be like that. There can be no excuse for Oh well, let's try again. Can I even get one victory? I think getting one victory will be will be a good outcome for me. Another crab deck. <sighs> Last time I got some pretty decent luck. This time, it's not very good. Ready when you are. This is quite bad. Freeze. Mm. Fortress of Meropede is gonna be a problem, like, there's no way for me to counter My that. Stars. I also don't have an arcane, which is, you know, not ideal. I want to help. Animal test, 6308. Maybe I can switch him a bit with uh, Tsukos here. You know, it's interesting. I played this game for a long time and I, and I still don't have Sucrose's dynamic skin. <laughs> I don't know how it's been. You know, it's be, it's been a year. And <laughs> in the year I did not buy the Sucrose. More than a year actually. TCG released. I'm not sure. I, I started... I started playing uh, TCG when it was released. But... Uh, you know, I did, not, uh, uh, I did not record the videos back then, because it was really annoying. But you know, now... Now is now! You know, we get, we get to see how well our skills improve, you know? Fighting the starter deck. Actually... Let's just play Paimon, you know? Why overthink things? You know, just just play Paimon. There you go. Even wasted that Matsu Matsutsake. Whatever it's called. You know, back Whoa, when I first started, like... I wasn't really expecting to get very far. It was mostly a place to... Upload some of the cool TCG matches that uh, I had since you know you could uh, only keep five stored. The only reason, the only real reason why I started uh, you know making videos was because they added the replay feature. If that feature did not exist, uh, I would not have made any TCG videos. It would just been too annoying. But you know, gradually, I I slowly increased the video quality further and further and. Uh, Let's finish this okay. swiftly. Arrived at this point, bro. What? 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 What are you doing, bro? Bro, bro is a madman. Do I want to switch? I might keep that.
I want to help. Okay. Let's see if we can bait him maybe a little bit. I am a disgrace to the knights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, you could see that against the starter deck, I didn't have shit. You had, you had Meropid and everything. Ah, funny, funny. You know, if that's our one win, then you know that's that's gonna be hilarious. Whoa, bro, whoa, bro, you're you're really not hesitating with those cards, are you, huh? Whoa, bro. Whoa, sorry. Let's intense. finish this. Okay. Let's swiftly. go double the look, maybe. Maybe that's a play. Buckle up! Alright. Let him set up his Miko overload. Pretty sure that's what he's gonna do. We'll save Favonius for next week. What is bro doing? Okay, we're gonna proc that Favonius, which is also nice for us. Next turn, we're gonna burst with the look. Alright, alright. Chef Mao. A normal attack. What is bro doing? What is bro cooking with his chef Mao and a normal attack? Catherine for a fast switch, okay, that's gonna be annoying. Alright. Okay. So, I mean, if he overloads me, then that's probably a good outcome. Oh, I guess he was trying to meet my Favonius, that's why he did the normal attack with Wondra. Not, not that it matters much, I mean, Vent Favor State is probably a better call, but... I assume he had bad dice. That's, like, the only reason why you would do it. Alright, so... Let's burst, I guess. I'm not gonna be using this. Time for... Retribution! What is he gonna do? Is he gonna overload me? Is he gonna overload? Me? Right now. I got. I should have removed the summon and then did the burst. Mm. I forgot about that. Well, that's fine. That's fine, as long as we get to meme him. Gosh, remember when bringing send-off was a thing? You know, no, nobody is bring send-off anymore. <laughs> the wind rises. Alright. A little bit of wind favorite state. He's gonna probably try to swirl uh, overload me, but I'm not really gonna let him do that. Alright. This game could like turn in an instant. I have like no utility. What am I supposed to do? I'm, I'm supposed to use this artifact. This, this shit artifact. You, you're supposed. If you wanna use this attack properly, you need to use it like three times, you know, to get I, any sort of benefit. I'm I not gonna it. be attacking three times. Are you kidding me? Let's get it on! Alright, let's try to do a bit of memes. Ooh. I wonder about that though, if I would have used magic guide on Sucrose to Emerge. do damage to D, I eh? think that may have been a better move to make. 
Because then you know it's like a guaranteed kill at that point. Since I have uh, more than smoked chicken. This will be interesting. It might not matter. Let's see, he'll end turn. And overloading. Tulayan Wanderer is scary. Alright, so I think in this case I should just take the hit. Artifact as well. I think I should just uh, clear all my things because he's gonna switch to Wanderer, and now uh, all my uh, statuses will be cleared. And I get Kai as well, which is nice. I think that's a better move to make than to do Kai a skill or something. Still hasn't used his arcane, so that might. Uh, Prove to be troublesome. He's also playing it like kinda slow, but I mean he's gonna burst now. That's gonna do a lot of damage. There is his, his hmm. So he has gamblers, I'm pretty sure. The way he's protecting Wanderer. He must have gamblers. If he kills my Kaya, that's a free switch for me, and uh, I like I like that. I like a free switch. A sight to behold. Don't miss your luck. So I'm fairly certain that uh, actually he's not gonna get the time. He, like he did not equip his gamblers, so this is free. It's not gonna free. get plus two dice from Kai even if he does get the have gamblers. Is over. Yeah, because this kills me immediately. This doesn't look good. And I should probably Let's switch to Luke in case swiftly. he has a free energy. Okay. I want Wait. to help. Ouch, that 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 hurts quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately, this is uh, this is an unwinnable position at this point. I done messed up. I mean, the best thing I could do is probably to use strategize. Well, this doesn't help me at all. And yeah, at this point, I just simply lose. Let's go. It doesn't matter if I switch or stay, cause like the damage. I mean, he he, he, he kills me I, anyway. So I want to help. You know, when I received my first type of deck, I immediately changed the cards. Like immediately changed the characters and cards, cause like half of these cards are bricks, and you know who 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 wants to run bricks in their deck? Plus these characters, these characters have very little synergy between them. Could try playing with Kaya, but Kaya's burst, but that Kaya's burst is a bit weak, to be honest. Unsightly insects. <laughs> well, that's a GG. My research has failed. All right, let's see. Let's see if <laughs> let's see if I can get at least one proper win, maybe. Alright, uh, I don't think I can win against this guy. I think he'll just out DPS me. So I think it will be another GG, but you know. We'll try, we'll try anyway, you know. That's what this is all about. Okay, let's try Kai. Let's try Kai as first. Let's let's try it. Oh gosh, this 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 horrible this horrible cards. Horrible. I did try to play meta a few times, but like it's it's so boring. Like you win most most of your games. Like your opponent really 
can't do anything much and in times that you know they do something it's just usually very luck luck based and luck dependent dodge the <laughs> Let's finish this swiftly. Unfortunately, unfortunately, one dies short, but that's okay. It is merely the first round. I'm sorry, Kaya. I tried playing you. It it doesn't work. Yeah, so he's aware that I'm using the starter deck because, or he doesn't want to take that risk. Okay, ready when you are. Bring it on. This is lovely. Lovely. Uh, this doesn't lovely. look good. Time for retribution. Lovely. <laughs> okay, that was a basic thing that he should have foreseen. Does he have a fast switch? And so if okay, so here's the problem. Does he have a fast switch? If I switch to Sucrose, he's just gonna kill her with Wanderer. So I am gonna end on the loop because I might be able to just finish it with Sucrose. Okay. Cry louder. There can be no excuse for the thing. Absorption test. Well, you know, I he wins this way, so you just, know, yeah. it's 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 basically the same thing. I have no healing. I don't have a lot of Ah, one damage short. <laughs> well, that's the that's the starter deck gameplay. I'm not gonna be doing another one. I hate this deck. I do not like this deck. One victory because the guys conceded. <laughs> So yes, you know, the thing about this game, yeah, it's 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 not a, it's not that much about skill. It's just basically all about luck. But, you know, it's both fun at the same time and 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 not that fun. I just want to say thank you guys for, for you know for 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 a year of TCG videos. You know for for watching me. I, I don't know. Some of you watched me from earlier. Some of you watched me from uh, longer ago. There aren't. Too many of you OG ones. But, you know, there are some. There's been some laughs. There's been some memes. And you know, thank you for 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 sticking with me through all of them. I don't know. I I I have found it a little bit more difficult to enjoy TCG recently. And it has become a little bit boring, at least for me. So I don't know how far we'll make it. But you know, uh, here's to hoping. I don't think it's as charming or as interesting as it once was, you know, in the past when it first came out. Like the game nowadays is just so friggin' fast. It's 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 you know it's not about skill anymore. Like that's that's the main issue. Like 
before, you know, when the game first started, like, it, it was always about skill, like, each dice was incredibly valuable because, you know, there were only a certain actions that you could do, but nowadays you could just do, like, more or less literally whatever, and your opponent can also do literally whatever, there's, like, no, no way to prepare for any sort of uh, strategies, any sort of eventualities. You just spin the wheel and see what you get, you know? I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but you know... But before we finish this video, let's do a Q&A session. Uh, this in particular seems like the most opportune moment to answer some questions that you guys might have about me and about my channel and so on. So I did ask you guys some questions and you answered. So now let's answer them accordingly. Which character card of yours has the most proficiency points? Personally, for me, the card that has the most points is Beidou, uh, but not necessarily because I play her so much, but this is primarily because of the Beidou strats that I did for videos. Uh, it required uh, a lot of games, so I placed it against an old, and you know, you and you rake in proficiency quite a lot uh, when you play. I don't actually follow proficiency that much, so I don't know how much of it is real. So I'd, I'm not really sure which numbers are most real, but you know I have some cards with some numbers. That it's it's I usually don't play with just one character. I usually try all of them. Play with many characters. You know some numbers are um, more real than others. And just for you, I went up and added all of the proficiency on all of my characters and this is what it's at. Do you play the main game or only spend 24-7 in the cat's tavern? Okay, so this one is an interesting question to answer. I have my Arlecchino team that I still have not built uh, Arlecchino. I have my Wanderer's World team that this Wanderer can do over 80k damage each charge attack. Uh, with um, with no food buffs. Uh, on my other account, I have another animal, another team which has three animal characters plus gilded. Uh, I still haven't really built them, but uh, I, I play the game. I play the main game. Like my highest record in the abyss for six stars on four twelve. So so I I I I have decent team, but that's actually interesting because. Because if it was not for PCG, if it was not for that game mode, I would have quit the game uh, over a year ago. Because that, because this game mode is actually the only reason why I continue to play this game. Uh, because I find it the most fun. Uh, if they did not add this game mode, I would have quit this game uh, a while ago. Which character really needs a rework? Well, I was gonna say the loop, but they did just rework the loop for the next patch, so... I'm not gonna say that anymore. Uh, other than that, uh, I mean, the weakest character at the moment is probably the lore master, if I had to guess. Just because she doesn't have really anything special about her. I mean, she, she can get that plus one energy, but what does that really do, you know? What does it matter? So, I'm guessing the weakest character right now is lore master. Alternatively, Ka Kaya, I think, is also a bit... A bit a bit of a weak character. Uh, she, he's just too slow with his damage. You know, if, if they reduced his burst cost maybe to 3 dice, I think he would be far more usable. Do you think some cards are just better version of others, like Shinkyu Yilan? Uh, so, yes and no. They're, they're a bit difficult to judge. For example, if we compare Magic Guy to something like a Fruit of Fulfillment, uh, uh, you think that they might have uh, a big difference, but the actual difference is roughly the same because uh, mag while Magic Guy does cost only two dice, Fruit of Fulfillment allows you to draw two cards, which is basically the same as using one uh, strategize. So generally the value that you get is mostly the same. And that's how they like to balance these uh, cards, so that not, it doesn't really necessarily matter which cards you take, uh, you just get more or less the same amount of value per, per every card that you take. So 
you you could take some sort of crazy deck with some insane cards and the value you would get would be um, very similar to some some sort of meta decks if you do this sort of math uh, you're not really gonna notice the power creep but the power creep is there uh, but it's not necessarily in terms of extra value it's not necessarily that the the new cards are better than the old ones but it's more the fact that the new characters and the new cards do so much extra stuff for the same exact value uh, for for example if we uh, for example it's much easier to notice uh, on characters so you have a character like Zhang Ling for example and she can do physical damage she can uh, make a summon and she can do pyro damage uh, that is, is essentially all that she can do is, is just damage but then you look at a different character like new Villette, and he can do both hydro damage he can do piercing damage with his burst he can do self piercing damage to create the uh, changs uh, he can do healing uh, he can do dice fixing because you attack with his normal attack primarily instead of elemental skill. Generally, the power creep in this game appears uh, more in, in the sense of uh, new characters and cards do more stuff, uh, which in turn are more powerful. And then an additional note is that they also add cards that uh, that will give you benefit for the things you're already gonna be doing. So for example, if we say, you know, for example, if we have gamblers, uh, you know, uh, your winning condition is already to defeat the opponent's character and gamblers is just gonna give you a benefit on that. Uh, for example, same thing as with um, veterans visage. Uh, the intention is that you will uh, both heal your characters and uh, damage your characters, so you're gonna get benefit of, of that as well. And cards like, you know, machine assembly line and, you know, cards like Lumenstone adjuvant, I mean, you are already gonna play action cards so it's it's basically just uh, uh, just a bonus for the things that you're already doing and you know the sum of all those uh, actions is that the game is getting faster and faster uh, because you get benefits more immediately for actions you would do regardless uh, you just uh, you can just pile them up and stack them up and you can win sooner and sooner so to answer this question, uh, are some cards better versions than the others? Uh, yes, but it's a bit it's it's a bit more difficult to tell, uh, and usually they they do have a, a little bit of a twist. It's not a one to one copy. How old are you? So I'm not gonna reveal my exact age. I'm I'm just gonna say that I'm between 23 and 25, uh, and you can figure out the rest if you really want to. What deck do you hate facing the most? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really pay that much attention because the meta changes and you know, lots of people play meta and lots of people play the strongest decks and you know, over time they change so one deck becomes popular then another deck becomes popular and and it, 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 it's non-standard. So for the moment I might hate facing against one deck uh, and you know but for next time it might be a different case. Uh, so uh, in general though what I hate most is is just uh, stall more or less. Uh, I don't particularly like it. I prefer when people go with damage decks instead uh, just to dish out faster damage uh, and I enjoy those games a lot more. Uh, when people go stall is just uh, it's 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 very annoying which character do you hate playing against the most i don't particularly like Lini and i don't particularly like new just just because of how much shit they do they can dish out damage fast they can proc a lot of things and and when people have these characters you know exactly what they're gonna bring you know exactly which cards they're, they're, they're gonna bring the, there really is not gonna be any surprises like like nobody is gonna bring Lenny Nuvillette and something like Geo Rezo, you know? Like that would be an interesting combination, but nobody is gonna do that. So it's it's primarily the Fontaine characters that annoy me. Uh which 4.7 character card are you interested into? Uh I don't know. I don't know. I don't 
I don't really look up updates uh, very, very much before their release. Uh, I mainly look at the updates after they come out. So uh, I'm, I'm learning the, I'm learning things alongside you as well. Um, but to give, to answer that question, I don't know. Probably the Narball. I like that guy in game, so I, I'll probably like him in TCG as well. Favorite Genshin OST slash music in general? Uh, I like stuff from The Sims, uh, s specifically Sims 4 DLC. There are some some really good bangers out there, I think, uh, and I enjoy them quite a lot. Um, in terms of Genshin music, uh, I would probably say the Arlecchino one, uh, the the new ones that just came out. You know, Chen Yupeng does some absolute absolutely great music i think just basically all of his stuff uh, 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 is pure gold that's the thought behind your profile picture uh so the idea behind the profile picture is that you see you will see different things whether you are looking at in in dark mode or light mode and if you had png transparency that would in fact actually work but uh, with, without uh, the support for png transparency you can only really do some basic shapes so you know uh, I, I, that's exactly what I did, I just did some basic shapes and um, I mean it sort of works but uh, I don't know if it's particularly good and you know my, my creativity just ran out there and uh, I upscaled the image later with a bit of AI uh, just for fun and yeah I mean if one day uh, I come up with a better idea I'll change it in an instant. It's a bit vague on purpose. Do you think Freeze is overpowered? Not necessarily, I think it's a great mechanic. Uh, you can work around it like quite a bit. If, if you're an experienced player, you're not really gonna fall into the Freeze trap. But it, it is most definitely annoying, I will agree with you on that. Uh, it's, it's unfortunate really, because Freeze is much more popular now than it used to be. And that is because the games just keep getting faster if the game wasn't so damn fast like freeze would be completely balanced you know you freeze one or two characters uh, every round what would matter but you know when the game only lasts two to three rounds you know what's, what's <laughs> like a freeze is, a, is the greatest counter that uh, you can do you think there should be a way for, to four frozen characters um, no I don't think so I think Freeze uh, opens up a certain uh, aspect of the game that uh, requires a certain amount of skill if you could just uh, brute force your way through it uh, with just spending dice, you know, that would eliminate all of the skill uh, required and associated with uh, surviving freezes and I don't think that's good for the game and I don't think that's a good game mechanic to have. If you are dealing with freeze, what should be done to minimize the calamity? It, you just you just gotta get good. Like you just gotta expect them. You just gotta see into the future uh, how freeze will be affected, and you gotta just limit your um, uh, your applications and try to do as much po damage as possible. Like it just, there's no real other way to counter freeze. Let's say there would be a possibility to add a wild card to your game, so you could have. A character that you could substitute in for 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 a little bit. Uh, do you think this would make gameplay a little bit more interesting and exhilarating? I think that's not enough. You know, the, the game the game la the game is already too short. So let's not add just a little bit to reduce some damage or increase a bit of damage. But you know what we need? We need a fourth character. Okay. Teams have four characters, so we need to have fourth character as well. And you know, that's gonna extend the games like plus one round, plus two rounds. And you know, that's gonna be, uh, and, <laughs> and you know, that's just gonna delay the issue instead of actually solving it, instead of actually addressing it. We just uh, we just add a fourth character, add more HP, add more attack, and you know that way <laughs> we make the games last a bit longer by by not changing any game. I mean, uh, in a couple of patches, it will probably be a major issue and it will probably not solve anything, but you know, for, for the moment, you know, it would add up. <laughs> you know, I, I don't know about this idea. 
it's 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 gimmicky and it's it serves like no real purpose. You could just make an action card that does stuff. Favorite TCG summon. Uh, I personally quite like Dory summon, but not because it's necessarily good, uh, but because it's just so chaotic. I mean, it it adds plus one energy. And on top of that, it heals you. You know, if if it did one electro damage, it would be it would be absolutely goated. Uh, but uh, just ha healing yourself and adding energy, it's it's something that your opponent doesn't really prepare or expect. It, I, I I love it. It's so fun to play. If if even if it is not necessarily all that good, it's so unique as well. Was uh, GITCG your first TCG? So, no, my first TCG was probably Chronicle RuneScape Legends, that was a game that I used to know live for, for, for ages, used to run a Vanescula deck with, that would self-inflict damage for uh, more uh, output, and uh, I, I loved memeing opponents with that. Uh, unfortunately, the game is shut down now, uh, though there is a fan project. Uh, but uh, yeah, besides that, I haven't really played any TCG games, like I don't play Hearthstone, I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't play uh, Magic, like, never played those in my life, so, so that's, that's the answer, it's, I suppose it's, it's the second proper one I do. Name two characters who have the best synergy in TCG. Uh, it, it's so, it's so hard, there's so many character combinations that you do that are quite effective. A lot of characters are standalone as well. Uh, I mean, my personal favorites would have to be either Chong Yung and Razor, uh, Chong Yung and Beidou, or um, Candice and Beidou. Uh, I, I like those combinations quite quite a lot, but uh, there there's a ton out there. Which video was the most memorable to you? I don't think I ever made a video as good as video 33. Like it's it's maybe not as uh, maybe it's not as good in terms of like video quality and video production, but like in terms of gameplay, I think it's the best it's the best game I've ever had. So yeah, those are the questions that you guys had, uh, and uh, and I just want to say thank you for the one year of TCG uh, and for being here. But you know, here's the hoping for another 100 videos on TCG. We'll see if that ends up happening. But you know, until then, I'll see you in the next one.